We're going to give it one last go around with this animating text project from the Chapter 9 folder, and we're going to use this to talk about layer styles. If you're familiar with Photoshop, these should be familiar to you. In After Effects CS3, the last version, they introduced the ability to have Photoshop layer styles right here in After Effects. This is great for giving pizzazz to text or any other type of layer. So what I can do is right click on this text and under layer styles, I can choose layer style. We'll run through these rather quickly. Let's say for example, I select drop shadow. That's a pretty common effect. Essentially it adds a shadow to make it look like our text is floating off of the screen just a little bit. We could then come down here to our timeline panel, open up drop shadow and look at all these options we have to play with. We can adjust the opacity of the shadow making it very opaque or very transparent. Take this back up to 75, or I could just right click on the property and select reset. We could also adjust the angle of the shadow. This is really cool. This basically reflects where the light is coming from. So now that I adjusted the angle to about 270, the shadow is above the text, which makes it look like it's telling like a campfire ghost story, <laughs> like there's light coming from the bottom of the text and the shadow is on the top. Note that this property is also animatable, as are all the rest of these here. So we could make this text move around as if there were a light swinging around it or whatever. We could also increase the distance from the text to the drop shadow. Increasing distance usually helps the text feel like it's floating farther off the screen. So as you can see, as we crank this up really high, let's say 167, the text looks like it's just completely floating like several inches off the screen. Now to make this a little bit more believable, we'd probably soften this drop shadow and lower its opacity a little bit. We could soften it by increasing the size value. So we can increase the size value and maybe lower the opacity value and make this look like it's really flying off the screen. Now I'm gonna click on the drop shadow property and hit the delete key. And I'm gonna right click back on the layer, the text layer, go back to layer styles. And there are a bunch of glows here. There's outer glow, which creates a little glow around the edges. And uh, this, as you can see, this is much easier to see on dark background. I could also create an inner glow, which creates a glow on the inside of the text. And when you combine an outer glow and an inner glow together on the same layer, as you can see, it creates this kind of neon glowing look. As you can see here, as with Drop Shadow, there are loads of parameters and options for inner glow as well as outer glow. And I'm just going to select those glows and delete those. And let's right click back on the text layer, go back to layer styles. Bevel and emboss is another popular one. It adds a highlight and a shadow that creates the illusion that this text is three dimensional. And of course it's not, it's just a flat layer, but those highlights and shadows create that illusion. And finally, when we go back to layer styles here, there's a whole mess of other effects. We have color overlay, gradient overlay, stroke, and several others that we can add to create a more visually appealing layer. Now keep in mind folks, we're applying this to text right now, but we can also apply this to any type of layer. We could apply layer effects to the solids in the background if we wanted to. We could apply layer styles to the shape layers we'll be looking at pretty soon. You could even apply the gradient overlays and the color overlays to video. Now while you wouldn't want to use these for every layer and every project, they can give a lot of life to dull layers.